Good morning everyone, your Sunday weather briefing for this July 22nd. I have made a couple of adjustments to the Corn Belt forecast versus what I presented from back on Friday. We would not call those significant or major changes versus what I presented a couple of days ago. You can see some of these changes on these uh, temperature and rainfall maps. There's certainly still no heat in the Corn Belt for the next two weeks, but you can see that I have introduced some much below normal readings in the 6-10 to 10 day period for portion of the Central Plains. I'm still looking at some increase in rainfall chances in the Corn Belt for the 6 to 10 day period, but you can see that I have adjusted the bias for the bulk of those better rains to be more in southern portions of the region. As always, 11 to 15 day rainfall forecast, fairly low confidence in nature. QPF discussion for the 1 to 5 day time frame, no uh, real disagreements versus what is shown here. Uh, my forecast from back on Friday suggested that this period would not feature much in the way of rainfall in the Corn Belt, and that is still uh, the case here on this Sunday. Uh, any rainfall that is going to be seen in this period confirmed to just far eastern and far western portions of the Corn Belt. A lot of the heart of the Corn Belt and a lot of the Mid-South looking at completely dry weather in this period. Rainfall on the Northern Plains, uh, mainly in the near term, a chance for today and a chance again for Tuesday. Uh, those heavier rains in the eastern portion of the nation, some of that rainfall going to be falling on every day during this one to five day time frame. As we get towards day six and seven, I think that Friday will still be a relatively dry day in the Corn Belt. Uh, then we will be starting to see uh, rainfall spreading across especially southern portion of the Corn Belt uh, for the Saturday Sunday time frame. The Saturday rainfall is what is shown in southern portion of the Corn Belt on this map. I uh, really no disagreement with what is shown on this map at this time. As far as the forecast is concerned, again, I was expecting that uh, this near-term period of weather uh, taking us out through at least Thursday would be a dry time frame in a lot of the Corn Belt, and that is indeed the case uh, still in the forecast uh, for today. You can see that uh, the various models, uh, the GFS Ensemble, the Canadian Ensemble, uh, European Ensemble, European Operational Model, even to a good degree, uh, the GFS Operational Model, suggesting that a big portion of the Corn Belt is going to be dry for this Sunday, uh, probably through a good portion of the day on Friday. Uh, any rains that are going to be seen in that period in the Corn Belt just in far eastern areas, especially in central and eastern portions of Ohio, as well as in far western areas. Uh, a lot of the area to the west of the Missouri River with the better rainfall amounts and coverage as you get further west from the uh, Missouri River. In between, again, covering a lot of the Corn Belt and a lot of the Mid-South, looking at virtually nothing in the way of rainfall for today uh, through at least Thursday, but for a lot of that area for Friday as well. Uh, then as we get towards the weekend, we are looking at a rainfall threat again in the uh, forecast for the Corn Belt. Again, a northwesterly flow aloft is going to be dominating the Corn Belt for the next two weeks. And as we get towards the weekend period and embedded in that northwesterly flow aloft, it's going to once again be an upper level disturbance uh, tracking uh, first southward and then more eastward into a southern portion of the Corn Belt. And you can see from the track of that upper level low that it will be far western and eventually southern portions of the Corn Belt that are going to be favored for that rainfall. Uh, getting started for late on Friday and continuing into the weekend period for southern portion of the Corn Belt and into the Mid-South. You can see as far as 6 to 10 day rainfall forecasts are concerned that there is again general model agreement that it would be a southern portion of the Corn Belt and areas to the south of there that will be favored uh, for the better rainfall amounts for the period in question, a much more limited rainfall to the north. If you're looking at the Corn Belt for the entire 10 day forecast period, it would be Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and northern Illinois that will be the most disfavored area for rainfall for the entire 10-day time frame. I would think that the bulk of that area is seeing rainfall amounts well uh, under a half inch for the entire 10-day forecast period. As far as temperatures are concerned, still a situation where we are looking at nothing in the way of big heat in the forecast for the Corn Belt for at least the next two weeks. Uh, looking at your temperature anomalies for this Sunday, you can see that normal to below normal temperatures are going to be dominating a lot of the Corn Belt in areas to the east of there. Still searing heat at this uh, on this Sunday for southern portion of the Plain States, especially for southern Oklahoma and into Texas, uh, where 105 plus degree heat is going to be once again common for this Sunday. Uh, probably the worst of their heat in that area is going to be occurring during the very near term. But for this entire week, uh, most of Texas outside of the central and northern portion of the Panhandle will see temperatures continuing to run pretty easily above normal with no shortage of 100 to 105 plus degree highs. Again, it will be the uh, western portion of the Corn Belt and areas to the west of, and north of there it looks, look, looks to be especially cool during the next 10 days. Uh, probably the coolest part of their forecast is going to be getting started on July 
high 26 and for several days beyond that. Uh, looking at temperature anomalies for this Friday, July 27th, you can see an extensive area there where central and western portion of the Corn Belt, central and northern portion of the plains running easily below normal on temperatures and in fact a big portion of that area running much below normal on temperatures with readings running more than 10 degrees below normal that day. As far as longer term forecast implications are concerned, here's a look at the 500 millibars for uh, the very beginning of the 11 to 15 day time frame. You can see that a northwesterly flow aloft continuing into the Corn Belt at that time. Still a lot of below normal heights indicative of a lot of below normal temperatures. Any dome of high pressure still in southwestern portion of the nation where it typically is during the summertime period. Then as we get towards the latter portion of the 11 to 15 day period, you can see that the upper level pattern has relaxed at that time. Still somewhat of a northwesterly flow aloft indicative of uh, indicated for the Corn Belt at that time, more of a broad ridge of high pressure in southern portion of the nation at that time. It is a weather pattern that would by the time we get to the latter portion of the 11 to 15 day time frame, Probably temperatures not going to be quite as cool across the Corn Belt at that time. Still nothing indicative of big time heat, but probably more normal temperatures in the Corn Belt at that time as a broader area of high pressure is developing in southern portion of the nation at that time. Uh, with that warmer weather pattern with the jet stream lifting more further northward at that time, I would think that as we get towards middle and especially latter portion of the 11 to 15 day time frame, that should be a weather pattern more indicative of better rainfall chances as we get further north into the Corn Belt in the 11 to 15 day time frame. So certainly again for Iowa, Northern Illinois, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, a very limited rainfall chances in the 10 day forecast there. And a lot of that may be due to the fact that the temperature forecast for that area looks so uh, limited in, in the way of heat for the next 10 days. As the weather forecast tends to normalize with regards to temperatures for middle and latter portion of the 11 to 15 day period, that may very well be with, been the better rainfall chances return to especially northern portions of the Corn Belt. Internationally, for your Sunday, looking at near normal rainfall across a lot of the summer row crop areas of the former Soviet Union for the next two weeks. Note that the bulk of that rainfall will be occurring during the near term with a lot of half to inch and a half rainfall amounts in the one to five day time frame for a lot of that area, then reverting back to below normal rainfall in the summer row crop areas of the former Soviet Union for the six to 10 and 11 to 15 day time frames. Strictly below normal rainfall for the next two weeks for a lot of the uh, Western European growing areas. So probably Probably some growing concerns about dryness in that area and that will be especially the case given the fact that all of Europe and all of the former Soviet Union is looking at above normal temperatures for the next two weeks especially notable on temperatures in Western Europe will be coming up for two for Thursday and especially the Friday time frame of this week looking at this high temperature forecast for Friday you can see the extensive 90 to 95 plus degree temperatures for highs that day in a lot of France and nearby portions of Germany and into the Benelux country countries. Uh, for the spring grain areas of the former Soviet Union, still going to be seeing a much drier weather pattern there. Uh, limited rainfall across a lot of the spring grain areas of the former Soviet Union for at least the next 10 days. Over in China, looking at near normal rainfall there for the next two weeks, but note that the bulk of that rainfall for both the North China Plain and for Manchuria is going to be coming during the one to five day time frame, and that rainfall is all still associated with Tropical Storm 12W. Uh, the track of the storm is going to be uh, a little bit further east than what it looked from the weather maps from last week, but still a track that is going to be good enough to produce uh, quite a bit of rainfall in a big portion of the North China Plain. That will be mainly for today and tomorrow, and then getting into to Manchurian corn and soybean areas for Tuesday and into Wednesday. We will then see the North China Plain and Manchuria drying out and Bolonoma rainfall should dominate those areas for the 6 to 10 and 11 to 15 day time frame. Lots of above normal temperatures in the two week forecast should equate to lots of 90 to 95 plus degree heat in that time frame for especially the North China Plain. A Canadian forecast not especially wet for the next 10 days to two weeks, especially limited rainfall for the next 10 days across a lot of east in Alberta into a big portion of Saskatchewan. A little bit wetter forecast for the Australian wheat areas versus what I presented last week, but still looking at nothing better than normal rainfall, but that normal rainfall covering a little bit bigger portion of the wheat areas of Western Australia, South Australia, Victoria, and extreme Southern New South Wales. No changes in the Indian monsoon, still strictly a blown over rainfall for Southern portion of the Indian subcontinent for the next two weeks. A better rainfall to the North, especially in Rajasthan, 
Rajasthan and into Madhya Pradesh. That's what I have for your Sunday. Everyone have themselves a good day and we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning.